cycling in outer space without the vertigo, we're taking an IMAX shift for a spin to see if it's worth the hype. So we are here with Bree, who is a master instructor, and she's going to tell us everything we need to know about the IMAX shift. We took what we love about indoor cycling and literally plopped it inside of an IMAX theater. So everything that's so cool about IMAX in terms of movies is taking something that we're familiar with and exploding it to bigger sounds, bigger sights, bigger feeling and energy in the room. Why add visuals to a workout that is, has such a cult following? Like it's not broken, don't fix it type of thing. I think you could say the same thing with like an iPhone. We all had phones, we're all good with phones. Why take it to that next level? Right. I can automatically feel an urgency when we're running down a tunnel. Like I wanna keep the pace, I wanna stay with that. It just really takes right. me to a level that is is guttural and primal. Can you tell us a little bit about what the actual class looks like? We have point of view where we're in beautiful nature, scenic landscapes, aerial flyovers, time lapse. We also have point of view as if you're on like a digital world and we're gonna go up and down these roller coaster type of things. We call that hyperdrive. We can go into cosmic galaxy worlds. We can show music videos. We can also just create beautiful things that we think inspire emotion and a little bit more of an introspective feel. We do have these challenge modules where what you see visually on the screen is really inspiring your physical workout. You'll see that we're, at, we're going uphill now and it needs to be heavy resistance and you need to be feeling exactly what you're seeing. Losing the mirror I think has done wonders for this room. Mm -hmm. So you're not staring at the instructor, you're not staring at yourself or the people around you. You're looking at what you're supposed to be doing and feeling. Mm -hmm. It takes away the stress of comparison and judgment and allows you to like really dig into, okay, am, am I really working hard right now? Am right. I really having fun right now? Right. Is there a specific formula you follow for creating these visuals? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have seen a trend of writers responding to a lot of immersive content right away. Right. And then we can kind of give them a little bit of a visual break. But at the same time, it really depends on the time of day, the energy in the room, the weather outside. So you can kind of do what you feel like the room needs as an instructor mm -hmm. within what you're seeing on the screen. Right. Does anyone ever complain about Vertigo? I mean, people have definitely had a different experience than they expected. Right. I think a lot of that has to do with the size of the screen itself. You know, it's 25 by 40 feet, it's huge. Right. I tell writers if they ever start to feel a little bit wonky, just go ahead, look down for a second, look right back up, you're fine. I didn't really know how I was gonna feel about cycling in front of a large screen, but it was pretty awesome. It definitely kept me really engaged and it made the class go by really quickly.